lines, please. We'll start in three, two, one, go! Welcome to qualification match number eight here at the Northwest District Championship. Things get underway with uh, still a pretty even split on the autonomous period. Maybe a little bit of favoring red there. Wait for our scoreboard to shake out before I say anything too definitive. 13 to 13 is what it's showing right now, although that's not accounting for that blue robot that you just saw balance up there on the charge, charge station. And that'll bring their score up now 31 to 13 as drivers take the controls. There's Saints Robotics reaching up there, getting their stretches in early here at the District Championship as they reach up towards that top row to place a cube for Blue Alliance score. It's followed up very quickly right after by the Roboctopi out of Port Townsend, placing a cone on the middle row for three Alliance points. Back at the bottom right corner of the field, you'll see your red Alliance loading zone with two robots occupying it currently. Whidbey Island Wildcats, and it looks like that's the Cloverbots joining them there. This match, of course, featuring two of our teams with some of the longest commutes in the district here <laughs> to this event, coming off of the islands out in the Salish Sea all the way out here to Cheney, Washington. Bit of a collision in midfield there. There's Vicotics, one of the shortest commutes in the district here, coming from Palouse this weekend. They're getting tangled all up in Saints Robotics machine there. Here's some gears grinding. Hopefully nobody needed those. Hopefully they weren't too important does seem to have stopped, so either those gears are dead now or everything is good to go and we can just continue with our minute or so left to play of qualification match number eight. There's Saints Robotics just bouncing their way over the Lexan charge platform, using some of that plasticity in the charge platform surface itself to launch themselves back up and over it a little bit. Some clever, if I don't actually know if intentional or not, use of physics to their advantage there. Let's take a look at the Roboctopi there. They meet up with Lil Cheese in the middle of the field. There's Vicotics Machine playing some defense in this one. They are an offensive powerhouse if you let them. In this one, it looks like, however, they are taking a slight backseat effect and slowing down. Again, we talked earlier about those valuable cycles. Really working to do that here in this qualification match as well. We've got 18 seconds showing left on the clock here, and both alliances are starting to reel it in and call it a night and head back to the charge platforms here. We'll have one last cube attempt score coming at you from the Cloverbots. It's unsuccessful, and it lands in a preoccupied node. Hopefully the Cloverbots don't fall over here. Whoa, they get hit by their alliance partners. Whidbey Island as they push them off the charge platform. It looks like they were actually trying to just make sure it's victory. Your final score in that one, 100 blue to 72 red and three rank points for each of those Blue Alliance teams to get their averages rolling. And that bonus rank point will be for the charge station there. They pick up some of that in the autonomous period with that balanced rope.